I'm Coach Takeshi. Confucius once said, At 15, my heart was set on learning. At 30, I stood firm. At 40, I had no more doubts. At 50, I knew the will of heaven. At 60, my ear was obedient. At 70, I could follow my heart's desire without overstepping the boundaries of what was right. In Chinese, it's written like this. And in Japanese, it's Jiritsu no Sanju Dai, Fuaku no Yonju Dai, Jime no Goju Dai, and so on. Today I turned 50, and I happened to be back at my birthplace, my original family home in Japan, literally made of wooden paper. Naturally, I was feeling reflective on life, so I thought I would record this video and share my learnings from Confucius through my own experience. When I turned 40, I quit banking and started my second life as a startup entrepreneur. After failing one startup, and then the next, I was like, so much of confusing saying, no doubts. But then I discovered Agile in my third startup, and in my fourth iteration in this second life, I am a learning professional with conviction. To be honest, I never was really expecting to be a learning professional. I mean, I'm still an entrepreneur. I do learning as a business and we are profitable and I have ambitions to scale our tribe. But I've never been drawn to the lure of the speaking circuit and the book publishing esteem. So I find myself not really belonging to that category of the knowledge business. Meanwhile, there is an element of pursuit of truth and essence in my organization development and coaching work. And combine that with the positive feedback loop of catering and fulfilling the complex needs of our clients, I find mission in what I do. And I guess this sense of mission and serenity that I feel around my work is possibly what Confucius suggested about knowing the will of heaven. Or not. I am in the business of complexity and nonlinearity, so I should know better. As Pascal said, man is only a reed, the weakest in nature, but he is a thinking reed. I guess I'll keep on thinking on. For the many followers of my mental motto dojo, thank you for your support and encouragement. My pen has been slow recently, but I have a growing list of things to write from the many amazing learnings and revelations from our recent client work and I vow to be more disciplined with my writings in my 50s. And who knows, maybe it'll become a book. So much to learn from the philosophers. Are you a standing firm 30s? No more doubts 40s? Will of the heaven 50s? Or obedient ear 60s? Birthdays are great because they provide you with special moment for reflection. I hope my example was helpful. Mm -hmm.